Ay, ba't hindi nag-record? Ayan, it's recording. Okay, so... Um, we discussed last time that your your hematopoiesis actively happen within your red bone marrow. So, can somebody enumerate what are the sites of red bone marrow or the sites of active hematopoiesis? Miss Aubrey King, give me one. Sir Ribs po. Miss Manalo, give me one. Skull, sir. Skull. Aside from skull, uh, completuhin mo na yung, ta- yung tatlong S. Scapula and sternum. Scapula and sternum. What about Miss Lapi? What is the V? Isa lang naman ata yung V. Ay, may, may vo. May iba pala. What is letter V, Miss Lapi? Two, one. Okay, let's go to Miss Lapore. Lapore, what is letter B? The vertebrae po, sir. The vertebrae. Wait lang, parang may nakikita kong bagong picture. Ready, ready na po si Mr. CMT. What is the other P, Mr. Montero? What are the other sources? The letter P in RSVP? Proximal long bones po, sir. And? And... Okay, nasa I forgot the other P. <laughs> nasa binti ka, papataas. Oh, ano yung nasa... Um, uh, ah, pelvic. pelvic. Your pelvis or your pelvic. pelvis. Oh, no, no, your, fe- your pelvis. So, try to practice it. You know how to start? Parang nag, nag, nag ano ka, minamasage mo yung parang naghihilod ka. First, yung ribs, papunta sa sternum, papunta sa, sa skull, pababa sa scapula, pumunta ka sa pelvis, tapos nandun ka na sa proximal long bones. Okay? So, gawin niya yun, di ba? Para siyang pataas ng isa. Okay? Isang, isang, um, isang, isang, um, hagod pataas. Okay? So, those are the different sites. We have your ribs, your, your RSVP. Okay, your RSBP. But aside from that, okay, um, there is also what we call extra medullary hematopoiesis. So medullary hematopoiesis, we are talking about the bone marrow. But there are also extra medullary hematopoiesis that is happening, and that is your liver, your spleen, and your lymph nodes. Okay, so let us try to differentiate one from the other. Mr. Montero, please uh, message me by this afternoon. Remind me to send you the notes for blood collection. Ha? Huh? Noted po, sir. Okay. And aside from that, I will also be sending... Unfair kasi if I will not be sending you the PowerPoint of this. So, since pinapamigay yung PowerPoint nito, papamigay ko din kasi hindi naman akin. Diba? So, share ko siya. So, Kumalma kayo at makinig ng mabuti. Can that be an agreement between the uh, between our class? Okay, so makinig ng mabuti ha. So, medullary versus extra medullary. Here's the thing, when you get a copy of the PowerPoint, check the notes. Hello. Okay, okay. Yung mga side notes niya. Kasi mar- dun, dun maraming pa notes notes eh. And aside from that, I would highly appreciate if you don't print it as is. Parang big, lagyan naman natin ng konting effort. I-try nyo siya, i-transfer sa word. Okay? I can no longer do that for you guys kasi ang dami kong preps na kailangan gawin for the prelims. And by the way, the prelims move Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Meaning to say, on Monday, we will be meeting. On Tuesday, we will be meeting. And I want to be ready. So, on Monday, we will be having our long quiz. Um, as we about last time, we will be having our long quiz in Chem. And we will be having our quiz in Hematopoiesis on Tuesday. Am I clear? No, so, no. And then um, afterwards, okay, afterwards, um, we'll utilize the entire time. You will, um, I'll let you choose. 
it's either we can re um, take, for example, the quiz is 40 minutes or 30 minutes long, and then we still have one hour left. Um, I'll give you the discretion, talk among yourselves, if we will be using that one hour for review. And when I say review, prepare your questions, I will be answering them. Okay, prepare your questions of, or if there are any clarifications that you want to ask or that you need to be made during the discussion, we will allot that. Okay, both for HEMA and for ClinChem. It's up to you if you would take that or you will just take it as a rest for if ever na meron dun kayong ibang exams for that particular day. Okay? So, moving forward now, okay, let us let me first differentiate medullary and extramedullary hematopoiesis. So, when we say medullary hematopoiesis, the blood production, we are talking about the hematopoiesis, the blood production happens within the bone marrow. Okay? Within the bone marrow. So, it usually begins in the fifth month of gestation all throughout your life. It is medullary hematopoiesis. So, sir, what are you trying to say? Extramedullary hematopoiesis only happen if your bone marrow can no longer meet the body's requirement. Okay? Take for example, your liver, your spleen, your lymph nodes are performing different function as we are speaking right now. But in the event, knock on wood, I don't believe on that, but you can knock on your wood, okay? Um, um, but in the event, take for example, that your bone marrow failed, okay? Your bone marrow failed. Your body would try to compensate, okay? Using this particular organs, your bone, your liver, your spleen, and your lymph nodes. And in this case, extramedullary hematopoiesis means that the blood production now happens outside the bone marrow and occurs mainly on your liver and on your spleen. And usually, okay, in these cases, there are cases of hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Sir, why hepatomegaly and splenomegaly? I hope it was already discussed in your histopath, the megaly, the atrophy, mga ganyan. Megaly is the enlargement of your enlargement of your organ. In this case, hepatomegaly, enlargement of your liver. His splenomegaly, the enlargement of your spleen, trying to compensate the failing bone marrow. So this is usually due to bone marrow dysfunction or bone marrow is unable to meet the demands. Okay? In abnormal circumstances, take for example, um, the spleen, the liver, and the lymph node can revert back to producing immature, uh, ano, um, immature blood cells. And that is the case now of your um, extramedullary hematopoiesis. So I'll just copy this one. Okay, for those who are taking notes right now, which I would definitely appreciate, um, is this. Your bone marrow dysfunction and your bone marrow um, will be your hematolytic anemia and your aplastic anemia. Ap ap yan yung mga causes, okay, examples. I hope, guys, you still read your RODAC. Bumili kayo ng RODAC, mahal yan, okay? You use it, okay? You use it. Gaya nung, like what I was teaching some of the students, okay? Um, I talked to a couple of students already. What I always tell them is that even if you have the PowerPoint, Okay, even if the page number, Miss Laurente, um, I cannot give you the page number. Just look for the chapter. Chapter four, yan hematopoiesis. Okay, chapter four is hematopoiesis. What do you mean na unavailable? Unavailable yung book. You can have the PDF. It's already been circulating in your batch, so you should have a copy that of that. So. Resourcefulness, okay? Resourcefulness. So, daig nang, matal, daig nang madiskarte ang matalino. Okay? So, resourcefulness. So, aside from that, okay, aside from what I was saying, even if you, even if in the case, eventually, you already have this, ano na, you already have this um, PowerPoint, I want you guys to study it side by side with the topic on the book. Like, for example, Yung topic is yoksak. You are also go going to read everything on the yoksak just to make sure that your note, your your notes are really 
enrich. Okay? So, moving forward, okay? So, nag-homily na naman po. Nagigigil kasi ako pag, ano, I mean, I want to help you, but I don't want you to get too comfortable na hindi nyo aaralin yung book. Parang nandun ako sa ganong, like, dilemma. Na I want you to do well, but I don't want you to be tamad. Okay? I don't want you to be tamad. So, moving forward, okay? Because at the end of the day, di ba, uh, mas worth it yung mga pinaghihirapan nating bagay compared to those na dumadating na lang. Okay. So, moving forward, let's go to the hematopoietic microenvironment. So, the hematopoietic microenvironment, we're going now into the bone marrow. So, in the bone marrow, we have your supply semi-fluid matrix, which is the anchor for the development of your hematopoietic stem cell, HSC po yan, ha? And the hematopoietic microenvironment is like an ecology. It's like a microenvironment nga within your bone marrow. And they maintain, uh, and they maintain the proliferation, the multiplication, and the differentiation of your, and the differentiation of, of your um and the differentiation of your stem cell okay so what do we mean by that the stromal cells that we will be talking about and the extracellular matrix they actually influence the stem cell if it will be multiplying if it needs to become a red blood cell if it needs to become a white blood cell or a megakaryocyte okay if it needs to become a megakaryocyte am i talking too fast No po, sir. Anong nangyari sa ano nyo? Kakatapos lang ba ng exam nyo? Ba't parang ang lungkot ng mga boses ninyo? Hindi na naman kayo nagkape, children. Kakatapos ng exam? Wala naman po. Long lecture lang po. Yan. Okay. So let's talk about the micro-environment. Okay? Let's talk about the micro-environment. Each of this, the endothelial cell, the adipocytes, okay? The endothelial cell, the adipocytes, they also have their own function. To take for example, let's go to the stromal cell, okay? Your stromal cell includes your, ayan nga, the list goes on, okay? The endothelial cell, okay, they perform, um, the endothelial cell are broad, andun yan sa book, anong page ba to? Page 46. Okay? The, the endothelial cell are broad, flat cells that form a single continuous layer um, in the inner surface of your arteries and vein. So the endothelial cell, what, they, what do they do? They regulate the particle that enters and leaves the hematopoietic stem. The hematopoietic, ayan. So take for example, this is the sinus, di ba? This is the, this is the sinus. This is, these are your endothelial cell. Nakik Can you see it? Nakikita nyo ba? Okay, this is your endothelial cell. Your endothelial cell is up, um, serving as a membrane. Okay? It is serving as a membrane. Membrane for what? Membrane for anything that will come in and will come out of your... My goal is at least to finish this until... Ayan. Umpisan ko na yung erythropoiesis if ever later, ha? So... Again, the endothelial cell, makikisulat po tayo, it, uh, it serves as a regulator of particles coming in and out of your, uh, coming in and out of your, uh, coming in and out of your hemato, uh, hematopoietic spaces. Aside from that, okay, we also have your adipocytes. Adipocytes or your adipose tissue, okay? Your adipose cell, your, yeah, fat cell, or adipocytes. So, your adipose tissue, on the other hand, maintains the volume of your bone marrow. Remember that, okay, what do you call the process whereby your red bone marrow becomes your yellow bone marrow, Miss Lapus? What is the process that occurs when your bone marrow becomes now your, your yellow bone marrow your red pala. Your red bone marrow becomes your yellow bone marrow. Hello. What do you call that? Anong air no me po? Hindi ko gets. My gosh. Sir, no me. Anong no me? Not me ba yan? 
Ano, Mike? <laughs> okay. So, let's go to, ano, Miss Human Talk. What do you call that process? Miss Jazer. Jazer me. Uh, sir, I forgot. Okay, what is the process? Anyone? Okay. Sir, try po. Yes, Miss Lazaro. Retrogression. Correct. It is your retrogression. Okay? We call it retrogression. And by the way, naalala ko pala, um, did you receive the, ano na, did you receive the results of your clean chem long quiz? Not yet po, sir. Nag, nag, hindi nyo pa chinecheck TLC nyo. That's the reason why. Okay. I, I message you, um, ano oras ba ako nag-message? Around 3 a.m. ata, for mga ganon. 3 a.m. Hindi ako makatulog eh. So, nag-manual check ako. Yeah. Manual check na po yun. Again, bago nyo ako ulanin ng email, i-check nyo muna kung may mark na. Okay? Hindi porket nakakross out, wala po yung mark. Please check it. Kapag hindi ko kinor, kapag hindi ko kinon si, pag hindi ko, um, pag hindi nalagyan, meaning to say, I did not consider your answer. Okay? So, moving forward, actually the top is, the top scorers for that particular quiz was Martin and Montero, the highest, and then followed by Navarrete, top two. The top three, we have a couple of students. We have Monge, we also have Jose, and Leibag. So that was the results. So you can check that later, okay, later. So moving forward, okay, so that you, you call it retrogression, okay? We call it retrogression. So we also have here your, your uh, we also have here your, um, aside from adipose, um, regulating the ratio of your red bone marrow to your ye yellow bone marrow, it also secretes substances like your cytokines and growth factor okay growth factor that will initiate or that will promote the proliferation of your hematopoietic stem cell <coughs> hemato hematopoietic stem cell okay so aside from that we also have your macrophages of course we already know what is the function of your your macrophages, your macrophage um, is, the phagos, is the phagocyte within your hematopoietic um, environment. And at the same time, we also have there your osteoblast and your osteoclast. Okay? Osteoblast and your osteoclast. So, bone, your osteoblast, okay? Osteoblast, born forming, okay? Sabi na natin, bone, magbo-born ng bagong bone, bone forming. And you also have your osteoclast. Okay, nag-crash, so nag-disintegrate siya, resorption, okay? Bone resorption, or yeah, bone destruction for the osteoclast. So we also have here, ayan, your extracellular matrix. So what I'm just trying to say here is that each one of this, okay, endothelial, adipocyte, meron silang function that they perform, okay? In the extracellular matrix, Okay, in the extracellular matrix, their major role, okay, their major role is to provide, is to provide your substances like fibronectin, ayan, your collagen, your thrombospondin, your tenacin, your proteoglycans, um, which in turn helps in the differentiation of your, uh, helps in the differentiation of your, um, differentiation and proliferation of your hematopoietic stem cell. Okay? So, guys, your stromal cells and your extracellular matrix are key for the proliferation and differentiation. So, kung mapapansin nyo, pag sinabi natin stromal cell, lahat yan are different cell. When we say um, extracellular matrix, these are already substances that are um, in the extracellular portion of your um, hematopoietic um, hematopoietic um, 
Por eso esto era por Trump. Gemato. Outside your. Gemato poetic. Um, Gemato poetic spaces. Yan. Gemato poetic spaces. So we have your stromal cell and your extra cellular matrix. So moving forward, ayan, we have your adult lymphoid tissue. Your lymphoid tissue are part of what organ system? Sige nga, try ko lang kung tanda. Your lymphoid tissues are part of what, ano? Your lymphoid tissue are part of your, are part of system. your? Lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. I can smell ulam already. My gosh. Okay, it's part of your, um, it's actually part of your lymphatic system. So we have primary lymphoid tissue and we have secondary lymphoid tissue. So primary lymphoid tissue, guys, please remember this because you will be encountering this in immunology eventually. So your primary lymphoid tissue are two. It's your bone marrow and your thymus. Two things that I want you to remember, guys, okay? Number one, in the primary lymphoid tissue, uh, three, uh, two different things that I want to emphasize first is that in the bone marrow, B, bone marrow letter B, that is the site of maturation or differentiation for your B cells. Are we clear? Diba we have two types of lymphocytes, your B cells and your T lymphocytes. Your B lymphocytes will differentiate in the B bone marrow. Your thymus, where you're in your thymus, on the other hand, your T lymphocytes will differentiate in the T thymus. Reason why they are also called B cell and T cell are because of their site of differentiation. Are we clear? Are we clear? Okay, so I don't know if you're answering, but yeah. Um, we also have here the antigen-independent lymphopoiesis. So when I say antigen-independent lymphopoiesis, so with regards to whether there is a present of presence of bacteria, virus, or parasite, or any invading antigen, the lymphopoiesis, when I say lymphopoiesis, the production now, of your lymphocytes occur in your B cell, in your B bone marrow, and your thymus. Are we clear? So we also have your secondary lymphoid tissue. Actually, spleen and lymph nodes are just a few. We have a lot, but I will not be discussing that, not to bombard you anymore. But I will be leaving that to your, um, I will be leaving that to your immunology. But um, that was actually should be mentioned during your. Um, your anafi, we have your your mga payers patch, the tonsils. Those are also part of your secondary lymphoid tissue. Your secondary lymphoid tissue, okay, so ganito yan. Okay, again, your B cell differentiate in the bone marrow. Your T cell differentiate in the thymus. What will happen next? I hope you're not reviewing other ano ah. If I find, I will try to check if you have quiz today. So, um, tatanong ko yung mga susunod yung professor. I hope you're not using my time reviewing other things. Okay? I'll make you regret it. So, in the B, in the secondary lymphoid tissue, okay, in the secondary lymphoid tissue, your spleen and your lymph nodes are a few examples. This is what happened. In the primary lymphoid tissue, your B cell in your bone marrow, your T cell in your T lymphocyte will enter the blood. Okay, they will, they will enter the blood and will populate the secondary lymphoid tissue. Meaning to say, the secondary lymphoid tissue does not, um, there is no hematopoiesis happening there. Okay, there is no hematopoiesis happening there. In fact, what happens is that the B cell and the T cell goes to your spleen, to your lymph nodes, like your, your Peyer's patch, your tonsils. Like every single lymph node that you can imagine, their B cell and your T cell go there. Why, sir? In there, okay, your antigen-dependent lymphopoiesis happen, okay? Your antigen-dependent lymphopoiesis happen there. So, uh, what do we mean by antigen-dependent? 
dito na yung part, di ba yung function ng lymphocytes natin is to, um, ganito kasi yan, yung lymphocytes natin, they can mature but they can be naive. Parang sabihin na natin, I will say it straight na lang ha, okay? So, pardon on my analogy but this is it. Para yung matan um, para siyang mature na tao na. Sabihin na natin mga Of course I'm not I'm not saying na premarital sex is is good ha. But what I'm trying to say is that naive pa siya. Okay, yung kuno 30 years old na yan, mature na yan, pero naive pa siya sa maraming bagay. Ignor sabihin na natin not ignorant eh. But kumbaga hindi niya pa na-encounter yung mga bagay-bagay sa mundo. Okay? And for them, okay? Ganon din yung mga B-cell. Pag mature nila sa sa bone marrow at saka sa T-lymphocyte, they want to um they want to fulfill their purpose. And the only way for them to fulfill that purpose is to expose themselves into organs where there are high traffic of antigen. So saan yun? Doon sa mga bone marrow, doon doon yan sa mga spleen, yun yan sa lymph nodes. So kung saan dumadaan yung mga bacteria, saan dumadaan yung mga abnormalities natin, doon sila. Nagigets pa ba ako? Yes po, sir. Yes po, sir. Ayan. So your your secondary lymphoid tissue, okay? Those are your secondary lymphoid tissue, okay? So take for example, a mature B cell, 'di ba? Sabi natin kanina, a mature B cell, ang pinaka goal niya is to become a plasma cell. A plasma cell will not happen in the bone marrow. A plasma cell will only happen if that mature B cell was exposed to take for example, a virus, a bacteria. So the moment na ma-expose 'yan, doon lang siya magiging plasma cell. Doon lang siya mag for further differentiate. Okay? So, moving forward now. Okay? So, let's move forward. So, roles of different organs in hematopoiesis. Let's go now to your liver. Okay? Your liver, what is the function of your liver? Your, okay, hindi si liver ha. Yung liver. Okay? What is the function of your liver? It is the site of hematopoiesis if the bone marrow shuts down. Aside from bone marrow, we have your spleen. Okay? What is the function? It's your med sick. Okay? It's your med sick. Number one is metabolism. Ito function ng liver. Metabolism of carbohydrates and lipids. Excretion of bilirubin. Detoxification of drugs and toxin. And synthesis of protein. Okay, aside from that, okay, they also are the recycling and the storage of your iron. What is the storage form of iron, anyone? Storage form of iron is? Okay, storage form of iron is this, transferring. Hello, are you there? Narinig niyo ba ako? Wait lang, protein yung ano eh, protein yung ano, protein yung, protein, protein yan eh, protein, wait lang, wait lang. Baliktad ako. Wait lang ha. Hindi ako mapakali eh. Ma... What is the storage form of your iron? Wait lang. Sige, hanapin ko muna. Transferrin is your transfer protein. Transfer protein to eh. Kaya transfer. Transfer protein. Okay? Transfer protein. Okay? So in your liver, okay, in your liver, we have there your um uh, your iron reserves, okay? Your iron reserves. So um within your liver, doon nagre-recycle at nag-store. Remember your bilirubin when we discuss in clinical chem, your bilirubin your after your hemoglobin, okay, your hemoglobin has heme, iron and globin. 
your heme will be excreted as bilirubin. It will also be processed in the liver. And the iron that is in the hemoglobin part will be recycled and will be stored. Okay? It will be stored back. Okay? It will be stored back. Aside from that, um, it also create it also manufacture your coagulation factor. So, pakikitandaan na lang po yung functions ng liver natin. Okay? Please remember that, guys. Nagigats nyo naman pag sinabi natin metabolism of carbohydrates and lipids. Those things kasi are way ahead of clinical chem. Magiging topic pa lang natin. So, I leave it there na lang. Okay? So, in the liver, okay, we have the sinusoids of your liver. Um, these are the different... These are... <clears throat> These are the different cells that can be found in your liver. We have your Kupfer cell, which is the macrophage within your liver. We have your hepatocytes and we have your endothelial cells. Okay? We have your endothelial cells. So the um when it comes to ano, when it comes to when it comes to your liver, liver is very important specifically because um around 1.5 five to four liters of blood pass through your liver so the central vein okay the central vein in the liver um is the site whereby all your blood flows in kaya nakakapag-function siya na na nagde-detoxify nag nakokolect niya yung mga things that they need to metabolize and it need to store okay that it need to store so that is for your liver again Please remember, clear ba tayo sa liver? Are we clear? Or do I need to explain pa? Sir, yung sinusoids po ba yung basic structural unit ng liver? Hepat, hepatic sinusoid. Wait lang. Um, I'll check kay Bishop. Iba kasi yung ano eh. Basic unit yung tanong mo, no? hindi yung cell. Yes po, sir. Correct. Tama ba? The basic unit of your liver, the basic functional unit of your liver are your hepatic globule. Hepatic globule siya. Or hepatic asinus. Ayun. Your sinusoids, asan mo siya? Yan. Yung sinusoid mo contains this particular, yeah, this particular cells. So, sinusoids and I have to confirm that, Mr. Montero. Wait lang. Yeah, I'll have to confirm if the functional unit of your, yung ano, yung functional unit kasi ng liver, kasama na yung portal, ano dun eh, yung, tawag dun, um, yung ano natin, yung, yung hepatic artery yung yung portal areas yung parang sa ano yung sa hepatic portal triad ah uh, yung portal triad yung hepatic triad so i'll get back to you with that okay so okay dito na tayo kay liver wala nang tanong sa liver aside sa what is the basic unit Basic unit of liver according to Bishop. Ano? Wala nang tanong. I'll move on na. Okay? So, moving forward now, let's go to your spleen. Okay? When we go to your spleen, okay, one moment. Okay, let's go to your spleen. So, spleen is the largest secondary lymphoid organ. I just want to be clear with that, ha? Not the largest lymphoid organ, but the largest secondary lymphoid organ. Because the largest lymphoid organ would have to be your bone marrow. Okay? Pakisulat na lang po yan kasi kahit ko, wag, kayo, wag tama rin magsulat kasi even if you get this PowerPoint, wala yung part na yun na sinabi ko sa PowerPoint. So, the spleen, once again, is the second largest lymphoid organ. Um, lymphoid, secondary lymphoid organ. So it receives 350 ml of blood. It synthesizes your immunoglobulin M and it stores about 30% of the 
of your total platelets. Okay? It stores 30% of your total platelets. So some of the platelets are circulating. Some of the 50% on the other hand, okay, the, the other 50% are within your, the other, um, how many, 70% is circulating, 30% nakastore, okay? So, this is your, have you seen a limb? Have you seen a spleen? Nag-spleen naman kayo nung histopat ay histology, tama? We have your white pulp and your red pulp. Familiar? Anyway. Medyo familiar po. Okay, so we have the exterior. So we have the peritoneum. Okay, we have the peritoneum. So the peritoneum is the external layer of your, your, your spleen. We also have the in, um, in the interior, that is a mixture now of your white pulp and your red pulp. So the connective tissue capsule, which is your white pulp, ayan, your white pulp contains your lymphocytes, your macrophages, and your dendritic cells. Okay, Your periarterial lymphatic sheets contains your nodules containing B lymphocytes. Okay, they, are, they contain B lymphocytes. On the other hand, we also have here your red pulp. Your red pulp, whereby we we can see here your cord of Billroth, which is a specialized macrophage. Okay, which is which is a specialized macrophage. Please write it down on your notes that your spleen is also known as the graveyard of your RBC. The graveyard of your RBC. When we go to your RBC, um, your RBC anomalies. We will be discussing your calling and your pitting. Okay? Your calling and your pitting. Calling. Calling means calling means the the calling means the destruction of your entire cell. Or your red blood cell, to be exact. So your red your cells are phagocytized and are degraded in, in um degraded by the different organelles in the um, red pulp. Aside from that, pitting, okay, will cause the removal of inclusion or damaged surface membrane of a particular red blood cell. So how does it happen? I don't have my pen right now because it's charging na low bat mula nung 7.30 pa siya nagsususulat. So, um, take for example, okay, please remember that anything, that any red blood cells, okay, matanda, pangit, uh, matanda, mapangit, at mataba. Okay? Yung tatlong M. Yung matanda, mapangit, at mataba. Lahat ng matanda, mapangit, at mataba na that will pass through the spleen will either go through calling or pitting. Again, spleen is the graveyard of your red blood cells. Okay? Your white pulp is where most of your... Uh, most of your B cell and your T cell are situated. Sir, why do we have B lymphocytes here? This is where the proliferation take. For example, sabi natin kanina, di ba? Your spleen synthesizes immunoglobulin M. Where specific part? In the white pulp because that is where your B lymphocytes are contained. Your red pulp, on the other hand, contains your um, specialized macrophages that are responsible in the calling and in the pitting of red blood cells. This is very evident, okay? This is very evident in your Heinz bodies, okay? In your Heinz bodies. Heinz bodies. Okay? So let me just get the, the ano, so that I can explain it better. Pardon my drawing, but I, I am going to draw today. So take for example, isn't it, this is your, okay, hindi siya mukhang RBC. One more time. Take for example, this is your RB, mali pa rin. Okay, one more time again. Take for example, this is your RBC. Okay? We know that your RBC, okay, should be biconcave in shape. Okay? 
If it is 3M, if it is matanda, meaning to say, matanda, mapangit. Okay, pinilit ko lang ha, and mataba, meaning to say, it is all old, senescent already, mapangit, meaning to say they have abnormality in that red particular red blood cell. If it is mataba, meaning to say it already swelled, it already uh, nag-swell na yung cell. Once that um, it passed to your cell, take for example, this is your blood vessel, okay? And these are your, and these are your RBCs. Your RBCs that will be passing through the cell. Uh, the, the, the sinusoid. Like for example, this is your spleen. Okay? This is your spleen. Okay? Take for example, it passed through there. Okay? It passed through your spleen and then will go out on the spleen. Take for example, just for the sake of um, illustration, ha, this is not the accurate part. Okay? So if, if they pass through that, if they are, okay, so spleen will be checking, okay, spleen will be checking if a particular a particular red blood cell is already within the um within the within the spleen they will check the criteria are how old are you are you old are you ugly are you mata are you are, do you have abnormality do you have um do you have abnormality are you already swelling okay if all of those are are clear and then that red blood cell can just simply pass through the spleen okay and live for another day since um he will she will be waiting for a she will be waiting for 30 days pa okay i 130 days rather 120 days take for example we have here your heinz bodies what are heinz bodies i'll explain heinz bodies when we reach your RBC abnormality. But in in short, a Heinz bodies kasi meron siyang ganyan. Meron siyang mga Heinz, eto nga Heinz bodies. There are uh, inclusions on the surface of the cell. Okay? So take for example, la 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 la, dumaan siya, it went uh, it went to your spleen. Okay? It went to your spleen. So what happened now is that we have a we have your RBC under interrogation alongside with its um with its inclusion and then the cycle will goes will go on is it is it old not yet is it ugly well there is abnormality is it ano uh, no so what will happen is that your macrophage will try to eat out this one okay they will try to eat the particular part of the red blood cell so what will happen now they will try to eat that they will try to remove that they will try to remove that leaving now your red blood cell okay leaving now your red blood cell like this parang kinagat na donut that's why in cell we also have your bite cells at we as we call it okay okay this is your bite cell, okay? This will now become your bite cell. Your bite cell li goes to live another day. La la la, okay? So go out of the, um, it will go out of the um, spleen, okay? But the thing here, after that bite cell um, room around again, so what will happen is that, okay? In here, what will come, okay, sorry. Ang hirap naman mag-drawing. Ang hirap kasi dito sa notes. Wait, alipat ako sa ano. Kaso masisira yung demonstration ko. Okay, so take for example, these are your ano. This is your, um, your bite cell now will once again go to your ano. Your bite cell will once again go to your, take for example, this is your bite cell. Okay, ang dami niya ng kagat-kagat sa paligid-ligid. The moment that your bite cell enters again okay this is take for example your bite cell take for example your bite cell um enter your your spleen again okay ay by the way nakalimutan kong sabihin kakakwento ko the process of removal yung unang nangyari that is pitting okay that is called splenic we call that splenic pitting okay that is from that that RBC, okay? That RBC with inclusion bodies now becoming your what? 
now becoming this RBC here becoming now that RBC there RBC oh sorry that RBC becoming your what becoming your by itself by itself Ayaw, hindi ko magawa. Eh. So, drawing ko na lang ulit. <laughs> Your bite cell. Okay? So, that is splenic pitting. Okay? Spitting lang siya. Yan. Yung ganyan na nangyari, this is splenic pitting. Mas matagal pa po yung pagdodrawing nyo, sir. Sabi nila. Okay? That is splenic pitting. But the moment that this one enters into your spleen once again, it's, it's final destination. Okay? What will happen now is your splenic colleague. Okay? Are we clear? So, again, graveyard of your RBC. Are we clear? Hello? Are we clear? Yes, po, sir. Okay. So, that is splenic that is splenic that is calling eh, sorry, that is calling and that is pitting. Sir? Yes. Um, it needs to attain po yung tatlong ano yung yung mapangit um, may abnormality, yung old na po tsaka as in kailangan po yung tatlong yun as in attained na siya muna before siya maan po. Before siya makal, hindi naman. Hindi naman kasi, take for example. So pwede po kahit old na siya. Ay, oh, as in old correct. na siya, pwede na agad po. Yeah. Kaya nga, um, that's the reason why Usually naman din kasi when a red blood cell start to get old, it will also start to swell. Okay? It also will start to swell. That's why, um, but sta nandun siya, it's either pitting or calling yung mangyayari. Okay? So, by the way, ayan, hypersplenism is the enlargement of your spleen that result to pancytopenia. Okay, what is pancytopenia despite of hyperactive bone marrow? Pancytopenia, okay, pancytopenia is low, um, all your blood, are, all your blood cells are low. Pancytopenia. Ano yung kabaliktaran ni pancytopenia? Sige nga kung natatandaan nyo pa. Lahat ng naaalala nyo yung pinagdi-discuss natin, clean chem, hima. PV, what is PV? Your polycythemia vera, correct. Your polycythemia vera, increase naman lahat ng blood cells mo doon. But akala natin maganda, no? Because it's... My gosh, hindi nagre-record. Why? Ay, hindi, it's recording. Anyways, yan. So that is for your spleen, okay? Are we clear? May tanong pa po ba? Before we go to lymph nodes, do we have any questions? Please ask your questions now. Please. Do you have any questions? answer okay so let's move on now to your let's move on now to your to your lymph nodes your lymph nodes in tagalog what is the tagalog of lymph nodes mr jose the answer is i don't know sir okay what is that what is the tagalog term for ano it's your colani okay colani okay so it's your it's not becky becky is mumps JM, anong pinagsasabi mong Beke? Beke na men? Hindi. Beke is mumps. Okay? And Beke is not a swelling of the lymph nodes, but a swelling of the parotid gland or the salivary gland. Pakitandaan yun ha. Mumps is not the swelling of lymph nodes, but the swelling of your parotid gland. Okay? So, mumps. So, going now to lymph nodes. So, lymph nodes, what is the function of your lymph nodes? It is the site of lymphocyte proliferation. Similarly, okay, similarly to your, ano, similarly to your, um, what do you call this? Similarly to your spleen, okay, similarly to your spleen, your lymph node also is an, an avenue whereby B cell and T cell go there. They go there so that they will be exposed to antigen because that is the only time that they get to serve their purpose, which is beco becoming a um, becoming a 
becoming a plasma cell for the B cell and becoming a cytotoxic T cell or a T helper cell for the T lymphocytes. Are you getting me there? So, ako, take for example, let me just cite my, myself as an example. I am planning to, ano, I'm, uh, I'm, I want to move out so that I would be able to like fully become an adult because whenever you feel like you're still on the bone marrow in the thymus of your parents, you feel like you're still being protected. Like there, for me, um, there is still part of that sense of responsibility that need to um, improve in me. So similarly to your B cell, ganun din sila. Even if they are already mature, mature B cell, mature T cell, they would need to go to secondary lymphoid tissue for them to encounter their one and only antigen. Okay? They're parang ganun. Laging um, joke din natin, you cannot find your you cannot find a partner if you confine yourself in, and isolate yourself on a box. Well, I think now it, it can happen. You have all the dating apps, but for the lymph, for the lymphocytes, it's not gonna happen like that. They need to go into the pool where antigens are in there. Okay, so IgM. Okay, so processing of immunoglobulin. Okay, processing of immunoglobulin. And so to speak, please remember that part of your memory cells. Okay, part of your memory cell. When I say memory cell, hindi siya yung memory cell na na nakakatanda ng information na. Well, it's like that, but memory cell are your um. This are your your plasma cell will become your memory cell. So they also go there. Okay, so they filter debris and your bacteria. Okay, so these are like your your the lymphatic system. Okay, are usually talaga comprised of your lymph nodes that filters your blood from any debris or your bacteria. Okay, that is why this is a perfect part for B cell and T cell to go to. Because they will be exposed to different antigens here. Okay? They will be exposed to different antigens here. In addition to that, we have your lymph. Okay? Your lymph is what? Your lymph is a fluid portion of blood that escape into connective connective tube which are low protein and there is absence of ano there is absence of there is absence of rbc one moment lang ha I'm... okay there was an advisory from smart and pldt that there will be internet interruption until September 30, 5 a.m. Buti na lang 5 a.m. Kasi yung exam nyo mag-start ng 7.30 a.m. Okay? So, moving forward, okay? So, moving forward, that is your um, lymph node. And one nice thing to know, adenitis, okay? Adenitis is the infection of your lymph nodes. Ganito yung spelling niya. Adenitis. Okay? Adenitis is the infection of your lymph node. So moving forward, let's go now to your um, um, basic the basic region of your the basic region of your lymph node. One moment lang, guys. Ha? I I'm just ah yeah, it's okay, pala. I don't have to rush, okay? Because we have pa to sa Tuesday. If ever na kulangin ako ng time sa Thursday, sa bukas sa erythropoiesis, may time pa naman ako, okay? Anyways, sige. Okay, I'll be finishing in thymus. I am um, two slides away from that. So, for your lymph nodes, okay, and then we'll go to systematic and co constant error. So, lymph nodes, uh, the three basic regions are your cortex, your paracortex, and your medulla. Your cortex contains your germinal centers, and this is an active site of B cell proliferation. Your paracortex contains your T cell and your macrophages and your medulla contains your B lymphocytes and your plasma cells. Okay, your plasma cell. So meaning to say, these are actively, okay, dun sa cortex, in the cortex, they are actively proliferating. Okay, actively multiplying. In the paracortex, in the paracortex, these are now your T cell and lymphocyte. I don't know if you, I, do, I hope you appreciate the beauty of the lymph node, no? 
kasi ang galing nung pagkakagawa nung lymph node. Why? Because in the germinal area, take for example, let's go to your cortex. Okay? Take for example, this is your paracortical. Eh. So this is your cortex. This is your cortex here. In this cortex is the proliferation. Imagine that the antigen are encountering this um this cell. We have antigen presenting cell. Immuno kasi medyo sobrang fascinated lang ako sa ganun. So your B cell now, your B cell will be encountering the lymphos the antigen, the bacteria, the virus and then will be presenting them in the paracortex. Once they are presented in the paracortex, the T cell now will introduce that to the B lymphocyte. The B lymphocyte will now become your what? The B lymphocyte will now differentiate into becoming your plasma cell. So even the layering has its purpose. Okay? Has its purpose. They identify it. Okay? They ID, they ID. They identify that those are antigen in the T cell. They actually would release cytokines, T helper cells, cytotoxic T cell to initiate the production of your antibodies. Okay? So yan si lymph nodes. Pakitandaan yung, yung, yung regions. Okay? And last but not the least is the thymus. Thymus is the um, site for, for the proliferation of your T lymphocytes. They populate uh, the primitive lymphoid cell populate in the thymus. Remember um, what we mentioned that thymus is the what? Thymus is actually one of the well-developed organ in your infant. Okay? Your well-developed um, well organ in your infant. So I guess guys, you will ano, ha, you will also um, do your best talaga in reviewing for the prelim exam. Okay? So this one, okay, so it retains the capability to produce T lymphocytes and its size are related to age. So it actually atrophies. So as you grow older, your thymus grows smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Are we clear? Clear po tayo? Oh. Okay, do you have any questions with regards to our discussion for today? Because I'm finished. Do you have any questions? Sir, yung ano? Sir, yung... Sir, yung... Miss Magtoto. Miss Magtoto. Magtoto first. Yes. Sir, yung, yung Heinz bodies po, sir. Ano po bang ano nun, sir? Sir, kasi nakalimutan mo ata yun kasi nag-focus kasi sa clinic tsaka sa... Ay, yung Heinz bodies talaga, hindi ko pa in-explain. Ay, okay, sir. Kasi yung Heinz body will be explained naman when we go to RBC anomaly. Okay po. Okay? So, merong enzyme na kulang sa loob, kaya nagkaroon ng ganun. Miss Leibag, what is your question? Sir, yung sa storage form po ng iron? Ferritin. It is your ferritin. Thank you po. Okay. Thank you po. Um... Yung functional unit, yun pa rin yung hindi. Kasi in um, lobules kasi dito eh. Lobules dito kay Bishop. Okay. Anyways. Ay, but nakik nakikita nyo pala. Okay. Buti na ka nag-open ng ano. Anyways. So let's go now to your Keri na. Ah, okay. Si Azi ba nandito? Azi. Are you here? Yes, sir. Okay. So, first, um I hope you already saw the ano na. I hope you already saw. Tignan niyo, 'di ba? Ulit-ulit 'yan, constant error. Dalawang ulit ko. Pangatlo na pala. Ay hindi, pang-apat kasi it's the fourth time. Wait lang. I'll just try to stop the recording. <laughs> 